right, so we're just gonna go ahead and recap where we're at right now, and then we're just gonna add one more item to the digital factors that have an uh, effect on spatial resolution. So we said you always wanna decrease your pixel size, and of course, you're not gonna have control over that. That's a fixed component. But you want the smallest pixels, and you want the most of them. So again, I'll do a separate video for looking at how these things influence and affect the uh, spatial resolution. So smaller pixel size, more pixel count, and a larger matrix. So again, you don't want a large matrix with larger pixels, you want a large matrix with smaller pixels to help increase spatial resolution. We talked about SNR, signal to noise ratio. You want more signal, and you want lower noise. You wanna make sure that you have an increase of EQE, detective quantum efficiency. You have an increase of modulation transfer function or modular transfer function. You want to increase your fill factor. And again, you don't have you don't have control over this. These are fixed components of the system. So the fill factor, it's all about the Dell and the surface area that's actually recording the signal. And the last item here is going to be pixel pitch. So pixel pitch is related to the center of one pixel to the next. So if the distance from the pixel, from one pixel to the next is smaller, as the sampling is occurring, the frequencies are being recorded, there's less distance between them, you're gonna get a higher frequency of signal recorded. So what you want is, you wanna have a, a decrease in pixel pitch. And again, what that means is, you have one pixel to the next, it's the center from one pixel to the next, you wanna make sure that that distance from the next pixel over is gonna be a decrease so that signal is not gonna be lost. So that's where you have a decrease of pixel pitch. So again, study these right now. These are all gonna increase your spatial resolution. I'll do a separate video, like I said, to explain exactly how these things are gonna occur. And we'll go ahead and get into a couple other items that increase spatial resolution, but I'll go a little bit more deeper into the digital component, okay? So make sure you study this, and we'll get back to you on another video. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna show you really quick here is what happens when you increase your SID or decrease your SID, and when you increase OID and decrease OID. So I'm gonna show you with the, with the shadow here. So I'm gonna open up the collimation field here, bit bigger here. So this is OID, right? So if the image receptor was down here, right? I'm using the white table here just to show you a better example of the shadow. If I use the flat panel detector, it's black, so you're not gonna see the shadow too well. So I'm gonna use just the whiteness of the table, but again, if you decrease the OID, the object to image distance, you see how the shadow is getting smaller? So there's still a shadow, you can't get rid of it completely. But again, when you have less shadow, it's gonna increase the sharpness of the structural edges. So you wanna decrease your OID. If you increase your OID, look how big the shadow is getting. So you would think that that's better, but actually the edges are gonna get a little bit blurry. So we wanna make sure that we get a chance to minimize the OID. All right. And if we can't do that, then we can go ahead and mess with the SID. So the source to image distance that we were talking about, watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hand at this distance, but I'm gonna increase my, my SID. And you see how the shadow gets a little bit smaller? So you wanna increase your SID. Now watch, if you bring the SID down, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the shadow around my fingers are getting, is getting larger. So, when you bring down the SID, you're gonna get more magnification. So you always wanna to try to increase your SID, we said, and bring down your OID as much as possible. Now, another thing I'm gonna show you guys in this video, since I have you right here, is watch this. There's two types of distortion, their size and their shape. If you angle the part, you're gonna end up with force shortening. See how the shadow of my hand is getting shorter? All right, you see that? Okay. So if you angle the part, you're gonna end up with foreshortening. Now I'm gonna angle the x-ray tube. I'm gonna grab a hand fan. So if we were to angle the IR now, the image receptor, <coughs> watch this. If you were to angle the IR, do you see how the shadow gets longer? So elongation is gonna occur if you angle the IR or if you angle your tube. That's how you're gonna get elongation. So there's two types of distortion. Distortion is just misrepresentation of size or shape. Keep that in mind, that's it. So misrepresentation of size or shape, that's gonna be distortion. So size is magnification. 
Shape is either going to be elongation or foreshortening, and that's distortion. So keep this in mind. If you, if you have more distortion, what's going to happen to your spatial resolution? It's going to go down. So if you have more distortion, less spatial resolution. If you have less distortion, spatial resolution goes up. So that's what we're trying to do. And, and one of the best things about radiography that I, that I tell the students is I love the challenge. I, I like when things aren't the way they're supposed to be. You gotta try to figure out a way to get a good image. And you got so many variables going against you that you have to try to figure out to get a diagnostic image. So that's one of the reasons I love radiography. Uh, I'm hoping that people embrace the challenge and, and like to critically think because you know, it just, it makes it an enjoyable profession. So that's gonna be it for distortion. And I'm hoping that you understand spatial resolution and distortion, they go hand in hand, okay? All right, take, take care, thank you very much.